Very good. Good job, boys. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Let's have a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the opportunity to gather together to glorify your name. We thank you most of all for sending Jesus to pay the price for our sins, to live the perfect life in our place, and to have that magnificent, victorious resurrection of the dead to prove his love for us. Lord, I ask that you would be with Pastor Tom today as he leads the service. And that you would uh, give us all attentive ears and help us to hear and to um, respond to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Nathan, I forgot his Good morning. Morning. Welcome to chapel this morning. God is good all, all the time. time. All the time. God is good. Okay, let's begin with our invocation. Please join with me. We worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This next song is a song I probably haven't heard since I was I'm probably 40, 40 years or so. And Mr. K picked out this song, and uh, it's one that uh, I think you'll like. It's a very reverent song, but it's a beautiful song about Jesus. So uh, you can pick up on it. Maybe some <coughs> folks that are a little bit older than I remember this song. Thank you. 
doing good, everybody. Please stand so we can get ready for a confession. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God, according to your constant love. Blot out all of my sins. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and make my spirit right again. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lord, let me speak so I will praise you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy Dear friends, it's my joy to announce to you today that since God sent his son Jesus into the world, he died and paid for your sins and he rose victorious, that God has forgiven every single one of your sins. Amen. Please be seated. Let's sing I am Jesus' little lamb. Jesus is that God is always with us so we can be strong and we can be courageous and we don't have to be afraid because God is with us. So I want to talk about that a little bit today, but first I want to look at some verses so that we can, um, uh, I can talk about this story about Moses, okay? So Moses is, um, is, Moses is speaking to God and God gave Moses a pretty big job, didn't he? Moses had to go down to Egypt in front of Pharaoh, and he had to confess God, and that was a kind of a scary thing to do. So Moses was looking for God to tell him that God was going to be present with him. So Moses said to the Lord, Lord, you've been telling me to lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Who's going to go with me, right? You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. Next verse. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, read the rest of the verse with me. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. 
Okay, so God promised that he was going to be with Moses, right? Then Moses said to God, Lord, if your presence doesn't go with us, do not send us up from here. In other words, we need you to be with us. We're going to enter into the Holy Land. How will anyone know that you're pleased with me and with your people unless you do go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked, because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. And then Moses said to God, now show me your glory. So even though God had told Moses he was going to be with him, Moses was still not sure about going into the Holy Land, and he was still not sure if God was going to be with him. And so he said to God, show me your glory. Okay, I need a volunteer. Yeah, come on up. No? Okay, come on. Come on. All right, grab somebody back here. Right there. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I got one. Great. Well, you can help me. Come on up. Okay, I'm going to pretend that you're, you're Moses, okay? And you're going to pretend you're God, which is a scary thought, isn't it? If you were God. Okay, so stand right here. So Moses said to God, show me your glory. Well, we can't see God's glory while we're here on earth in our human bodies, but when will we see God's glory? Anybody? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. When will we see the glory of God? Well, we did see the glory of God when Jesus was born. Milana? In heaven, right. Everybody will get to see the glory of God in heaven. But while we're here on earth, God's glory is... We can't even see it. God's glory is like a hundred times the sun. You know how bright that would be? Think about that. A hundred times brighter than the sun. So God knew that Moses couldn't see him in all of his glory. So God said to Moses, I'm going to take you over here. And I'm going to put you in this cliff in the rock. And I want you to look that way. And I'm just going to pass by. And so God started to pass by in all of his glory. And just as he got by, stop there, he told Moses that Moses could look at his backside, okay, not his front side. So he didn't see all of his glory. Okay, thanks, guys. You can go back. So guess what happened when Moses came down the mountain? He didn't know it, but his face was glowing because he had seen the backside of God's glory. Glory. So Moses' face would go. So the people said to Moses, Man, your face is just, man, we can't even stand here. Your face is just glowing like the sun. And so Moses had to put a veil over his face to protect other people because his face was shining so much like the sun. Now I can't see through this, but a veil you can see through, right? So Moses could see through it, but nobody could really see the whole glory that was on Moses' face. God has always promised to be with us, but he's also always found ways to show us that he's with us. This time it was to show God's glory to Moses, but sometimes in the wilderness, God was a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And then they built the Ark of the Covenant, and God said, I will be present with you in the Ark of the Covenant. Then they built the temple, and God said, I will be present with you in the temple. And so not only does God tell us he's always with us, he shows us different ways that he's with us. Now, Jesus, let me go to, uh, this is your, uh, our verse for the year. Let me go to the next verse. Okay, another story. <laughs> Jesus what happened to Jesus on Good Friday? Yes. No, that's that's Easter. What happened on Good Friday? He died on the cross, right. Now, what happened on Easter? He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead, right. 
Now, after Jesus rose from the dead, he stayed on earth for a while. Does anybody know how long he stayed on earth? This. 40 days, right. 40 is a number that shows up a lot in the Bible. So for 40 days, Jesus had risen from the dead. He went around and he talked to his friends and he talked to his disciples. But then it was time for him to go back to heaven. And so that's, Jesus is talking to his disciples right before he goes back to heaven. Okay? Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, join with me, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And then here's the promise. Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That means to the end of time, God is always with us. Now, right after Jesus said that to his disciples, he did something really special. He, <clears throat> you know, when you go up down a ladder, you descend down a ladder. How about if you're going up the ladder? What is that called? Yes. Ascend. Ascend, right. So right after he spoke these words, Jesus ascended back into heaven. So Jesus isn't here right now for us to see or touch or feel, but he still promised that he is what? With us always. There are three special places where Jesus promised to be with us. Three really special places. The first place is in the Word of God. That whenever we read or hear the Word of God, Jesus is present. And then two other special places that he gave promises that he would be present are in baptism and Holy Communion, right? And so those are special places where Jesus promised to be. Um, and so even though we can't see Jesus, we still trust his promise that he's with us always, right? And when Jesus is with us, can anything harm us? No, no. And can the devil, can the devil make us do things if Jesus is with us? No, uh-uh, no. So it's a great promise. Now you guys are getting ready to end the school year, right? And you're going to leave the school in June and go home to your families and vacation and whatever you do in the summer. I have one question. No matter what you're doing this summer, will Jesus be with you? Yes. yes amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's, what do we have up next? Uh, just skip on through, Nathan. We're good. Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus into the world and to become one like us in human flesh and walking on the earth. We thank you that he died on the cross and that that paid for all of our sins all the time. We thank you that he rose on Easter morning, which shows us that he has the power over death so that he can take us to be with him in heaven. And we thank you for the promise that Jesus is with us right now, every single day, in our hearts. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let's join together. Please rise, and we're going to join together in the Lord's Prayer. Ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated, and we have some more special music today. We have a lot of special music today.
Uh, we do have a special soloist with us today. This is Ava from second grade, and a part of the song that we're going to sing in just a little bit, she's going to sing a solo. So it'll say on the screen when it says solo, you all don't need to sing that part. Ava's going to sing that part. But for the rest of it, you can sing, okay? So the song is called Strong Tower, and you all should know it. Uh, I have done it a couple of times, but that's uh, some of this song. Again, our offering is going to uh, the Ukrainian refugees from the Lutheran World Relief. 
And so if you have offering and things, uh, can I have a second grade? Can I have Ava? Can you come up here and uh, hold the offering plate for me? And Ava, can you pick one other second grader for me, please? Okay, come here, Juliana. If you can hold here, uh, Juliana, if you can be at the door over there. Thank you. You can hold it there at the door. All right. Let's close. The benediction, Pastor. Yes. Um, also, thank you to Mr. Steve for that song he wrote. What a great song! I'm, I'm sure when he wrote that, the Holy Spirit was right there, giving him those words so that he could praise Jesus. So, thank you, Mr. Steve, for that. Um, please rise to receive the blessing. But let's have a word of prayer first. <clears throat> Father, thank you for the blessing of this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Open our eyes today to all the blessings that surround us. The blessings of creation and our animals and our family and our friends, our school and all of our classmates. We thank you for all of those blessings. We thank you especially for Jesus and we thank you that he is with us always. And the children of God said, Amen. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you. Let's sing the blessing.
go. Let's have those jam sets. Let's go 45 more minutes. Wait a minute. Come on. Yeah. That sounds good. Rock and roll for Jesus. He's giving the green light now. Huh? Huh? We could do that. Oh, man. I love that song. You are, you are very good at that. We can, we can rock it, man. I'm just rock and roll. No, when we were singing that song, it was called, man, we got to turn the volume, and we got to turn that speed up. Thank you very much, girls. You want to do that at the 1030 service? <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know about 1030. <laughs> might, might be waking up some folks there.